Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. The more honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and they bring the word and doctrine. Shalom, meaning peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. So I want to do a brief speaking, you know, whilst driving in transit, as it were, on uh, Romans. Well, we'll start. You know, Romans, tw uh, what the fuck does that say? Thirteen, Salah. Romans thirteen and eleven, Arabic numerals. So it says, and that knowing the time, then now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So every single day we have, yeah, we're closer to that day. Right, the day of Hamashiach. She said, yeah, the, the day couldn't come except they come a falling away first. So that's why we're in such a lower state, or a low state. From the time of 70 AD, was about 66, 70 AD. Yeah, we were afflicted, man. And yeah, from thence, we've continued to be by that same nation, let me say. And yeah, starting with the Greeks, but obviously that full. Um, oh, they did destroy the temple, and yeah, they desecrated it. If that's the right word. Yeah, they made it not. Uh, defiled it, yeah, they profaned it profaning it outside the temple. They took things from outside the temple that were meant to be there into the temple. And that's literally the, the definition of profane means you're outside the temple. So they merged them things, they didn't put, they destroyed the difference we had between the holy you know, and the unholy or the clean and the unclean spiritually. Right, we're putting all manner of idols, chapels of idols, you know, swine's flesh, okay, sacrifice and such. And every single day from then, well, specifically dealing with, well, every single day from then, you know, from the time of the Greeks and so on, we're getting close to the end, but specifically, in yeah, 70 AD, I was dealing with the Romans, right, and what them, what they did, which was destroying, well, destroying the temple, destroying Jerusalem, and effectively scattering us into all nations, as it says, you know, until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. That uh, should be Luke 21 and verse uh, 24. And from thence, then we'll get the salvation. <laughs> That's what we're all really in this for. Yeah, we're, we're in it because we love the Heavenly Father, but we are seeking a reward. We are seeking a reward, which is not a carnal reward, and yeah, not an in, sorry, not a corruptible crown, rather an incorruptible. Yeah, it is an incorruptible. So lucky for that slip in the speech nearly. So the things that yeah, the world are uh, glor glorifying, yeah, for example, yeah, the chapels of idols, you'll have, or, you know, they might say a thing like, oh, I'm not religious myself, but you know, I think relig religion is a great, powerful tool, you know, it's great. Yeah, so they will glorify, and that's every single religion, yeah, every single idol, man. They will glorify that. As long as it's not this truth or this so-called religion. Yeah, because it does talk about in the scriptures about a religion. It talks about it in the book of Maccabees, talking about the Jews' religion. It also talks about how we should leave when we leave our laws, it's it becomes a religion as well. Yeah, that everyone should leave their own laws and join Antiochus's religion. Let me see, one minute. Come to a brief, a brief stop, and I'll try and pull up that scripture. So we're not do, dealing with too much lipture, as a brother Iowa would say. Right then, First Maccabees one and forty-two it should be. And um, yeah, First Maccabees one forty-one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king yea many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath or Shabbat so we're at a time when we're not seeing this happen verbatim but the same ideas are being brought about you know, the Charagma what does it say in 1 Corinthians the third chapter that we are the temple and know you not that your bodies are the temple of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right, so you're not supposed to defile the temple. An example of defiling the temple back then, yeah, the physical temple that was, 
Yeah, they were trying to make bare Israelites eat pork. Salakhin, a lot of Israelites eat pork. They were trying to force that. There was even an elder that they said, um, yeah, you don't even have to eat the pork. You you can eat a clean meat, but as long as you just make it look like you eat eating pork. And he said, hell no, man. I'm not doing that shit. And that's a man of integrity. Yeah, they, these are some examples we should look to. The ultimate example being Yahawashai. Right, the ultimate example being Yahawashai. That's the ultimate example of an Israelite man. Right, you want to talk about a prince of the power? <laughs> yeah, that's the king of kings, man. Right, so they, they tried to, back then they tried to defile our, our, our temple, as in, this, as in our, you know, our bodies, putting sw swine's flesh up in it. What are they going to try and do in this time? Putting the charagma in it. So knowing that the, the time is nearer than when we believed, that doesn't mean we're disbelievers or unbelievers now. It means the time that we initially they heard this truth and thought, oh man, that's true. <laughs> when we first heard this truth, I'm an Israelite. Now we've got to keep the commandments. We went into slavery because we sinned. Da, 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 da. All of that, the first time you heard that truth, you're thinking, oh, okay. That's what you began a believer. So that's what it means. The time is nearer than when we believed, you know, when we first committed to this truth and said, you know, I am an Israelite. You know, and I'm going to do my best to do service, that being Latreya, Latreya unto the Heavenly Father. You know, through what? Through His Son. So do we worship Yahweh Shai? Absolutely. Right? But the, the time is nearer than when we believed. Meaning each, each day we should get increasingly more zealous. Yeah, I thought that was a motorbike, but it's just a car with a f one of the uh, lights fucked up. So lucky. That's what sort of distracted me just then. Okay. So the we should we should be on fire for this, man. I, and I'm I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's days that I feel uh, weaker in the spirit, but holistically, you know, we should be getting more you know, built up in the faith. You know, feeling better. As in, uh, not not feeling better, like more comfortable in the world, but feeling more disdain for the world. Yeah, and more 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 um, fervency for this this whole shit to be over, man. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Yeah, you know, I gotta get back in on the job. So shalom, on to the next one, Lord willing, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakudah, shalom.